If you're getting ready to head to work or send the kids to school this morning, maybe drive the kids to school, be aware that you will have probably a little bit slower commute than you around the valley a little bit right now. And here's what it looks like in downtown Boise right now. It's lightening up just a little bit. We had thicker fog just about 20 minutes ago. So again, this bank of fog moving around the valley a little bit. And as it does, it will make those driving conditions difficult in some locations. So take some extra time this morning. It's 22 degrees at the Boise Airport right now. A five mile per hour wind makes it feel like like 16 degrees and as I said that fog is moving around early this morning we had fog in the lower end of the valley and this is what it left behind this is our view of the uh, intersection at I-84 and 95 and you see a coating of white on the ground here and that's because that fog is freezing in some locations and as it does those ice crystals that form in that fog settle to the ground and it leaves this light coating of white on the ground so don't be fooled into thinking this is the beginning of a snowstorm because it is not we have no no cloud cover over southern Idaho except for that fog on the ground and a very low a layer of clouds that is a typical for an inversion and that's what we have. The inversion will strengthen over the next few days. It's 22 in Boise, four degrees below zero right now in Stanley, but Stanley likely to be a degree or two warmer than Boise today. McCall will be a bit warmer than Boise as well. The Boise mountains much warmer. We're expecting to hit 40 degrees in some mountain locations, places like Idaho City, maybe even Bogus Basin getting to close to 40 degrees this afternoon. Quarter mile visibility right now at the Boise Airport and many parts of the valley around Boise are experiencing the same thing. So again, just give yourself some extra time this morning as you head out because it will be a slow commute in some locations. And as I said, no cloud cover over southern Idaho except for those very low clouds. They're not all that thick yet, but that cloud bank, that low stratus cloud cover will thicken over the next several days as the inversion really gets its grip on the valley. And that's not going to change anytime soon. The good news is there is no snow on the ground. When there's snow on the ground, temperatures get even cooler and the inversion gets stronger so at least we don't have that but as you can see here our afternoon highs today will be right around the freezing point we would normally be up to about 38 degrees in Boise on this date and we're only expecting a high of 33 as I said the Boise mountains getting warmer than the valley up to 40 degrees this afternoon in Garden Valley 33 in McCall exactly where we expect to be in Boise typical of an inversion and in the east central mountains up to 34 degrees in Stanley a degree warmer than will be here in Boise again that's what happens when we have an inversion. The Magic Valley a little higher in elevation than Boise and not surrounded by mountains, so afternoon highs here will be in the middle 30s. Here's your extended forecast and it shows our high of 33 today and not much change over the next several days except that our morning lows will be just a few degrees cooler. Morning lows in the teens, afternoon highs right around freezing. 652 now, here is a live look at the village of Meridian, also a bit socked in by fog. After the break, this morning's top stories and a final look at that morning commute.